Grab your Bibles. I don't have to do a whole lot now because God is already, <laughs> he's already prepared the way and massaged the, the ground and fertilized and I just maybe drop a one or two seeds in and he's going to produce the increase. Ezekiel chapter 37. Ezekiel chapter 37. Just going to look at a few passages here. Familiar scripture, verses 7 through 10. Thank God for my wife. Family, amen. Hallelujah. Thank God for the officials, overseers, and pastors in their respective places. And thank God for yourself, amen. God had a purpose for you being here on today. Amen. Ezekiel chapter 37, verses 7 through 10. If you have it, say amen. amen. All right. We'll read together from verse 7 to the completion of verse number 10. If I drop out as our custom, you continue on. Amen. All right. Ready? Read. So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise and beheld a shaking. And the bones came together, bone to his bone. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came up upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, thus saith the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood upon their feet, an exceeding great army. Then said he unto me, I don't know if you recognize it, but this is our year of manifestation. Somebody has been laid out. Somebody has been strong in a field of chaos and confusion. But God told me to tell you, this is your year. And God is speaking to somebody. I don't know if you recognize it. I don't know if you hear him. And I ask your neighbor, say, do you hear him? Do you hear him? He said, prophesy unto the wind. That's amazing to me, Deacon Jesse, how God can call you to speak to something that seems to be non-existent. Who in the world can speak to the wind except God? Can't even see the wind. Don't know which way it comes, where it blows, how it lists and how it comes. But God said in this season, in this year, in this hour, in this dispensation, speak. Hey, glory to God. Speak. See, the miracle happens when you put the power of God in the atmosphere. The Bible declares that the power of life and death 
is in your tongue. But nothing happens until you release it. Until you say it. What's happening this dispensation, Regina, is God is going to use you. God is going to use you. God is going to use you to bring about a manifestation, to bring about a turnaround. God say, yeah, I, I can do it. I spoke the world into existence. I scooped out the deep blue seas. I flung the stars in the sky. I spoke the world and the sun began to shine. But God say, I'm using you during this dispensation. Because the manifestation is not complete until it's provoked through you. Touch your neighbor and say, God is trying to provoke you. Hey, glory to somebody don't even understand why you going through what you going through. Somebody doesn't even recognize that that's the reason why you in the battle. I say somebody doesn't recognize that's why you in the fight. Hey, glory to God. How about I said all about say? I say somebody don't recognize that that's the reason why you're going through what you're going through. That's the reason why you're being fought the way you're being fought. Because God knows that if you wasn't in trouble, that if you didn't get in problems, if you didn't get in circumstances and situations, That you wouldn't even try to speak to the situation. But it's when the situation seems destitute, when it seems dead, that God is provoking you. He's getting under your skin. Won't let you sleep at night. Won't let you have no rest. Won't let your mind be at ease. Won't let you be at peace. Because God says, in this hour, in this time, in this year of manifestation, my glory is coming through you. Dig it, Tommy. God could use anybody. <laughs> God can use anybody. You can ask old Balaam. He'll speak to old jackass if he want to. But God said during this dispensation, I chose you. I decided to use you to bring about a turnaround in your family. To bring about a turnaround in your household. God say, yeah, I, I, I could have allowed the preacher. By my mama, son, I don't know who I'm talking to, but I, I, I hear God say, provoke, provoke, provoke. was a prophet that had been in somewhat obscure 
maturity until such a time came as the nation of Israel during the diaspora had been destroyed and they had been cast aside and they was not in possession of their land. And God says somebody in here that's just like that. That's just like the children of Israel. You've been dispossessed. Woo! Glory to God. I'm talking to somebody that the devil has literally caused you to lose your stuff. God has caused you to come to a period of dispossession in your life. It may have been because of a bad decision. It may have been because of disobedience. But then I would like to just preach to the few saints in here that can realize that what you're going through may just be for the glory of God. Woo! Hey! I say what you going through. Your pain. Your heartache. Your hardship. It ain't even about you. Is that the glory of God be manifest? I don't know who you are, but God told me to tell you that in this season, he's going to get some glory out of you. Hey, 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 hey. I say in this season of your life, though you may be in despair, though you may be broken, Though you may be sick in your body, God said it happened for your good. Coming up on the line. God told me to tell somebody today, speak to it. Just speak to it. The chaos in your house, speak to it. The disease in your body, speak to it. The problem in your finances, speak to it. The pain in your body, speak to it. The chaos. My, my, my. God said it happened so that he can get the glory. And he put you in a situation so that others woo, could see your embarrassment. could see your loss others could see you broken is because the blessing 
is greater only when they witness the downfall. See, if they wasn't around, if the haters, if the naysayers, if the old uh, agnostic and prognosticators, if they wasn't around to see you when you fell off. <laughs> see, that was the significance of God allowing the children of Israel to be in captivity. To go through the hardship, Trey. The brokenness. The being without. Because he wanted you to get in a position where those that had wrote you off. They written you off. They say you ain't gonna never make it. You ain't going to never be nothing. You ain't going to never have nothing. He wanted to do it in their presence. He wanted to wait till the situation got so bad. That when the breakthrough comes. Hey, I say when your breakthrough comes. Ain't nobody get the glory. It ain't about your education. It ain't about your connections. It ain't about what you know and who you know. It had to be for the Lord that was on my side. If it wasn't for the Lord that was on my side. I wouldn't have made it. If it wasn't for the Lord that was on my side. And God said, what initiates the process is you have to open your mouth It's okay to pray in silence. <laughs> Pastor Vida, it's okay for some things just to meditate. <laughs> but, but, Mr. Silas, it's certain things that you got to speak to. You have got to open your mouth. To speak to that situation. Because it's when you open your mouth. God takes those words and he adds his power to it. Just like he did when he spoke the world out of nothing. See, I don't care how, how, how anointed you are. Can't nobody see your words. Can't nobody see your words. All we can do is hear them. But we can't see the manifestation, Barbara, of your words. So what gives your word power but God? This is why God said, I need you to open your mouth. Get up from your bed. Stop crying about the situation and speak to the situation. Stop moaning about the situation and speak to the situation. Hey, yeah. I say, I'm tired of you whining about it. I'm tired of you crying about it. 
this is your year for manifestation. But it ain't going to happen until you open your mouth. You haven't figured out by now the title of this message is speak to it. God, God told me to tell somebody today, speak to it. Just speak to it. The chaos in your house, speak to it. The disease in your body, speak to it. The problem in your finances, speak to it. The pain in your body, speak to it. The chaos in your mind, speak to it. Hey, yeah. Speak to it, speak to it, speak to it, speak to it. I dare you to open your mouth. I dare you to open your mouth. Woo! Hey, yeah! Touch your neighbor, say it's already yours. It's already yours. It's already done. Tell somebody it's already done. The miracle is already yours. The money is already yours. Hey, my son, no love over. Hey, yeah. My, my. Hey, yeah, yeah. Woo. There's power. Watch this. I got to close. But, but, but Pastor Sanford, I just, I just heard the Lord say, you got to tell them that the power in their mouth is the same power how about by Shundo? That I used with my son. In John chapter 1, he say, In the beginning, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The word, the word, the word, the word, the word, the word, the word. Did you know it? You know what it said. It said the word was made flesh. The thing that you can't see. The thing that doesn't have any form. The thing that doesn't have any substance to it. He said the word. Woo, the word. Was made flesh. How powerful. Is your word. God. Is posing a question to you today and he's asking how powerful is your word if you're God's child and God's word was so powerful that it became flesh at least your word ought to be powerful enough to break the power of depression <laughs> At least your word ought to be powerful enough to bring peace in your home. Uh, at least your word ought to be powerful enough to bring prosperity. In your finances... But the devil fights you in the 
aspect of you activating your God-given authority. See, the devil don't care nothing about you getting saved. He don't care nothing about you saying, I got the Holy Ghost. The devil don't care nothing about you shouting, getting sweaty. Care nothing about all that stuff. As long as he don't get you to walk in authority. I just want to take this time to offer Christ to you. It doesn't matter what your past has been. I just want you to know that Jesus loves you and he died for your sin. And through the grace of God, it's not about what you have achieved or what you can do, but it's about just receiving the love of Christ and accepting him into your life. Well, if you would, just take a few minutes to repeat after me and say, Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me for all of my sins. I love you and I thank you for giving me a right to salvation. And because I have that right, I now ask you to cleanse me from all unrighteousness and make me a new creature in Christ. And I'll live for you for the rest of my life. Well, if you can believe that, it's already done. I want you to know that Jesus paid a precious price for your salvation. And if you can, through your faith, believe it, then it's already done. I want you to know that you now have a responsibility to connect with a uh, Bible-based church that will te teach you how to be the person that Christ has called for you to be. We would love to offer you that opportunity here at the First Albany Deliverance Cathedral in Albany, Georgia, where we are teaching disciples how to be the warriors and the winners that Christ has called them to be. Thank you for tuning in to The Latter Rain. We certainly hope you have enjoyed your shower of blessing this morning. To order a copy of this message in its entirety, please contact EFVM at 229-436-7707. Again, the number is 229-436-7707. To help and support EFVM in spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ, as well as becoming a partner with us, log on to our website at www.efvm.org. Join our social media family by following us on Twitter or liking us on Facebook. Once again, we thank you for tuning in to The Latter Rain. Join us next week as we experience the outpour, the overflow, The Latter Rain. Oh.